Hi, my name is Roman Martinez. I am the writer, producer, and director of the 2014 short film Harvest Night. Harvest Night started off as a short story I'd written when I was 12 years old called Night of the Scarecrow. It was about these teenagers that burn a house down and there happens to be a man trapped inside. And he comes back and he basically dispatches the teenagers one by one. So I had this idea for years and I'd always wanted to turn it into a feature film uh, someday. It was my tribute to Halloween because Halloween was my all-time favorite horror film. I just love that idea of the slasher movies. Just a guy in a mask, you think he's dead, and then he just keeps coming back for more. The idea for Harvest Night was, what if there had been like a 10th anniversary? What if this guy's been like a legend through this small town? The killer is known as the Delville Slasher. I developed a story about two girls who are having to do homework on Halloween night. They meet up with this young guy named Cody. He's trying to get them to come to this Halloween festival called Shocktoberfest. They're like, no, we don't want to hang out with you. And they decide to do their homework. And one of them wants to do, you know, wants to go and hang out. She wants to kind of party uh, close but Mia's more like get the schoolwork done. That was the basic idea of Harvest Night, just to kind of take the idea that there was this killer known as the Delville Slasher and put him into a story where it would be like an anniversary of, of him coming back. I had been volunteering at a uh, community theater for production of Little Shop of Horrors, and I was pretty amazed by their performances. I asked them, I said, would you like to do this? Would you like to do this short film of mine called Harvest Night? And they said, yeah. We shot all the scenes with Cassandra and with Lauren, and really all we had to do was just film uh, the shots with the killer in it. I had a guy cast for the Delville Slasher. He was this big six foot four guy. Unfortunately, my actor who was gonna play the killer, he had to drop out at the last minute. And I was thinking, I, I just gotta get this done. And I didn't wanna spend the time looking for different actors who could play this character. So I ended up stepping in. I'm not a fan of making my own movies, you know, just with me in front of the camera, but it's like, you know, it had to get done. And I tried different effects with the camera, try to have the camera from a little lower, make me look a little more towering. I tried kind of puffing myself up, breathing heavy. I was inspired by actor Kane Hodder, who plays Jason in Friday the 13th. I love his pantomiming and his, his body movements. He does this kind of breathing heavy. It looks really intimidating. So I, I got inspired by doing that. We had a mask made by a gentleman named Jojo Ariola. At the time, I had wanted to make the mask, and I had been working for like a month on how to develop the mask. I got a mannequin head, I got liquid latex, I got burlap, and it just never worked out. So I asked my friend, I said, hey, do you think you could make this, this work? Do you think you could make a mask? So he took it for about a week or so, came back, and he had this really cool mask that I could use for the killer. I think one of the biggest memories that stands out for me is the scene where Cody gets killed. I didn't have any prosthetic effects. I didn't have a fake head, didn't have any of that. We came up with the idea of just basically like taking the camera and then having the knife swing at the camera. And then and then uh, Jake uh, Milieu, who plays Cody, he rotated the camera to look like it was, you know, like a falling head, like the POV of the head, which I thought was pretty cool. So we were blocking for the scene that night, maybe about an hour and a half, two hours worth of just, you know, preparing for it. And then we shot it outside. It was 12 degree weather. It was the coldest night of the entire year. Some of our crew were like in, in a car, you know, with the heater running. And it was basically me and Jake out there. And Jake was, I mean, Jake was freezing out there. At least I got to, you know, layer up and have the mask on, but he really worked hard that night. And then he called out, actually Cassandra participated in it where we put Jake's uh, jacket on her. So the hands that you see kind of going up like this, those are Cassandra's hands. And then he was below her uh, squeezing these bottles of, of, uh, of red food coloring to make it, you know, make it look like the blood was spurting up. I enjoyed doing that scene. Uh, I enjoyed the amount of work and preparation that it took to make that. I think someday I would love to make a feature film of Harvest Night. I think my only issue with that though is that it's, it's not a passion of mine right now. Uh, there are a lot of other ideas I have that I wanna develop into short films and feature films. But I think at some point, I think I would like to return to it.
If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please make sure to click that thumbs down twice. And uh, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for uh, notifications on future videos. I'm Roman Martinez, and thank you for watching.